rubbing on my brain So bring the medication for my brain To heal the whole of the nation from the pain And break up all the circles and the chains I need some meditation in my brain So bring the medication for my brain To heal the whole of the nation from the pain Break up all the circles and the chains no, no, this could never be no man killer Good be my head, so me call it as the man killer When me ill, you know me never need a painkiller It's quite exciting, me call it as the man killer Give me good man, so me no think illa What a inspiration, be to a sound killer Fi the peg and me spark it like a nine miller Fi fight the liquor and the coke ganja oh, and the pillar That's why me need some herb in my brain So bring the medication for my brain to heal the world of the nation from the pain Break up all the circles and the chains I need some good in my brain Greetings again brothers and sisters and welcome to another video of the Black Economic Network channel This is video number 11 and this podcast will deal with mostly with financing to start and or to grow a small business. Uh, I would just like to remind you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, that's necessary for it to grow. It's been doing pretty well so far, but still we have a far way to go. And most importantly, uh, most importantly for you to send me uh, some any business information you would like me to advertise or to help you to promote business information or information about any other investment or uh, projects or economic programs that you would like me to help you to advertise and promote and this is free of charge <music> My third takeaway from Jawansa Kanjufu is why foreigners did so well. There are a lot of myths around why foreigners do well in America. The first is that they have easier access to capital than black people. This is just not the case according to Dr. Kanjufu. The fact is that most foreigners start their own credit association because the blank won't give them credit either. For the Chinese, they call it Fui. The Japanese and Trinidadians call it Susu, the Yoruba call it Isusu, and the Jamaicans call it Fufu. In New York City, one third of the black businesses owned by Africans are owned by Africans from the Caribbean, and they are only 10% of the population. Africa 
is the richest continent on the earth and but it has the most poor people and Africans in Africa and in the diaspora outside of Africa are at the bottom of the economic pyramid in every country. The uh, minerals in Africa and all the other natural resources and its people have, have been used to enrich the countries of the Europe, North America, Canada, pretty much the countries we are Caucasians, white people are the majority. And the recent discovery, this discovery of vibranium, well, this mineral that they are calling vibranium is uh, very exciting. However, and there are other countries recently, um, Uganda found a mountain of gold easily accessible. Uh, democratic DRC, I don't want to call it Democratic Republic. Uh, it has found where they found the, the vibranium. It also found a, a mountain of gold easily accessible. Um, Somalia, uh, men were digging a, a, a well, drilling for water, and they found oil in instead however all these discoveries new discoveries unless they are used in a different way to benefit the people of africa and diasporans instead of north america instead of caucasians and chinese mainly then um nothing will change we have to fight to change the situation that these discoveries are used to improve the lives of the majority of Africans and diasporans, not, not a, a handful that has, has happened before uh, with the minerals that were found before. It enriched the, the uh, Caucasians, uh, and not the majority of Caucasians. It's uh, capitalism and colonialism and slavery, so it's just a... A, a, a minority of Caucasians uh, Ch are now Chinese and also a minority of Africans in Africa and in the diaspora. Those who went along with the colonial masters from slavery time, uh, they benefited also the handful. We have to change that situation. And um, uh, the Pan-African leaders uh, from Marcus Garvey, as well as those in, 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 in Africa, Nyerere, uh, well, let me start with Nkrumah, Nyerere, uh, Lumumba, those that have sacrificed and suffered at the end of the slave masters and their, their uh, black puppets. Um, but things are changing. There are a new set of leaders that are emerging and we have to make sure that these minerals will benefit the majority of Africans. I'm with the New Time. 
Mine goes to both leaders, Your Excellency and the Right Honourable. I'm very much curious to know your hopes, especially looking at this visit, your hopes for relations between Africa Union and the Caribbean Community Market. I think that we believe that the CARICOM um, Caribbean community is really the sixth region of the African Union. Our histories are intertwined. Our geography is separated simply by the Atlantic Ocean. And in fact, if you look at distance, it is closer to get from Dakar to Barbados than it is to go from Barbados to London. And that should tell you every reason why we need to ensure that the two continent of Africa and the region of the Caribbean remain united. Um, we have also been the victims of a colonial experience and therefore many of the challenges that we face with respect to development are common. Um, there was no settlement on the time of independence for any of us and we have therefore had to deal with providing for our people in terms of education, health, housing, by building out our own development. And we believe that it is important that we can share experiences and that we can create opportunities for investment for our own people rather than believing that all investment must come from the north. So I look forward to the African Union and the Caribbean community deepening its cooperation. This afternoon, I think we will open the Honorary Consulate um, of Rwanda. That is the first step. I think building on uh, what the Prime Minister said about the uh, Caribbean being uh, maybe another region part of uh, our continent or together. Um, what we have said all along and have agreed and are trying to do, we've reached a very important first step. The first step is to have this uh, close relationship, uh, starting with Rwanda and uh, Barbados, and build from there through such a cooperation um, that we have outlined already, whether it is through uh, pharma manufacturing or building air bridge between uh, Rwanda, Africa, and uh, the Caribbean, and with Barbados. Uh, that's, that's, those are very important steps. We need to make more steps, and we want to do that faster. I think in the end, uh, things are shaping up to bring both sides together. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your contacts. Thank you. When me ill, you know me never need a painkiller. It's quite exciting, me call it as the manchilla. Give me good man, so me no think illa. What a inspiration, we turn a sound killer. Feed the peg and me spark it like a nine miller. Fi fight the liquor and the coke and you had the pill and that's why me need some herb in a me brain. So bring the medication for my brain. So heal the whole of the nation from the... In December of last year, 2022, the California Reparations Task Force came up with a report. They have not finalized the uh, payments that would be made to Californians for years of, of oppression and discrimination going back from colonial times to the present they have not come up with a figure as yet but they are in the process of of coming up with with that figure there is so a team of economists on the 
task force. They are looking at the monetary value that Californians should be paid for housing discrimination, unjust property takings, devaluation, devaluation of black business, health harms, mass incarceration, and over policing. policing. The head of the task force, Ms. Camelia Moore, said that the task force is still working on a, a, a final figure. They have a tentative figure, but not a final figure as to how much Californians would be paid in reparations. However, there is uh, another report from Fox News uh, saying that each California, a Californian would be paid about $223,000. Each person who qualifies for the reparation would be paid uh, th this amount. Whatever the amount is be, I personally hope that they don't pay anybody uh, in cash in their in their hand, but that it be used for uh, establishing some long-term benefit to the person, whether something like uh, uh, helping them with housing and education, and uh, especially with uh, planting and growing a, a business. It takes many people a lifetime to make this one journey. Any single son or daughter that comes from the legacy of Africans who left these shores, anytime one individual makes it back here, it has defied the odds. Most often we see African history starting with the slave trade or colonialism. And that is not fair to the history of African people because that was the interruption of African history, not the beginning of African history. This dungeon, it descends. It descends into darkness. And that descent into darkness is more than just physical because it's here that was the beginning of the manufacturing of the Negro. Africans were captured here in their original identity, in their original state, and it was here they were brought down into darkness and were stripped naked. They were never allowed again to be known in their Ashanti identity, in their Akan identity, in their Ga identity. So they erased all of that and simply said, they're black people, Negro. Millions of Africans passed through these doors, but they walked through these doors, many of them still believing in Mother Africa believing in their village, believing that someone would come looking for them. Some of them just wanted to take some soil in their hand. Some of them believed if they just spoke in the ethers that one day they would return. And we like to think that they were not failed, that our return, many of us who come from that ancestry, our return represents that faith, that hope, and that reality that that was not in vain. Thank you.
Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your contacts. Thank you.